Hello, today's video is related with the techniques of risk analysis. It's a topic from advanced financial management. Here we are going to discuss about RADR that is risk adjusted discount rate. Okay. So let's understand what is RADR. In business, you have to take a lot of risk. The point is only when you take risk, you will be able to generate a reasonable return, right? So my question is, what should be the return? What should be your return when you take risk? Suppose if you are taking more risk, should your return also be more? The answer is yes. Because if you are risk or if you are taking less risk, you can expect a less return. That means a project carries a high risk should give high return. So how do we evaluate a project? Here I have a question for you. That is how are you going to select a project? Or how are you going to evaluate a project? Definitely the answer would be by finding out their present value of cash flows. Right. For finding the present value of cash flows and comparing with the investment, we need a discount rate. Okay. These things you already learned, right? That's under NPV method, which I am explaining. That is only if we have a discounting rate, we would be able to find present value of cash flows. So the discount rate, which is used in capital budgeting, represents the expected rate of return. Okay. So this expected rate of return is nothing but the cost of capital. So the point is, a project has a lower risk will have a lower discount rate and a project with a higher risk will have a higher discount rate. But you know the company's cost of capital will not differentiate the project. That is uh, in most cases cost of capital is the minimum expected return and this cost of capital does not differentiate between project with low risk and projects with high risk. Okay, So the point is when you take a project which is going to have a low risk then your cost of capital or discount rate should also be adjusted downwards and if you take a project with high risk your discount rate should also be adjusted upwards that is we are doing some adjustment in the discount rate so this is usually done according to the degree of risk associated with the project if the risk is high the discount rate is raised that is we should add a risk premium to discount rate how much to add that depends upon the degree of risk okay suppose the management desires a rate of return of 10 percent if the project is risky a risk premium say for example a three percent may be added to the 10 percent to provide for risk thus the risk adjusted discount rate is 13 percent this means that the cash flows will be discounted by 13% discount rate. Clear? In short, projects which are more risky should be discounted at a higher rate than those which are less risky. That's the point. That's the crux here. Okay. So, there is some limitation for this method. Uh, that is, this is not a scientific way of determining the risk premium. Because this method, you know, it's subjective. Subjective means... Uh, how to translate your risk into percentage you know uh, the companies usually categorize risks into different level suppose a b c d a for normal b for medium uh, c for high and d for very high etc and they will calculate a risk range accordingly uh, their discount rate will change okay that is depending upon your expectation level your discount rate also undergo change so how will you translate your risk into percentage or how much weight should be assigned to risk premium that depends upon personal judgments. Okay, that is the limitation here. But still it is one of the best methods for calculating uh, risk in the decision making process. Okay, moving to the next topic is method of computation of RADR. It's very simple to calculate actually. That is first you have to identify cash flows. Secondly, you have to compute the RADR. For computing RADR, uh, take your basic cost of capital. Then you have to add a premium for risk. 
that is your basic cost of capital plus you should have a premium for risk okay if you put these two things together you will get rdr then you have to discount the cash flows by using the discount rate and arrive at net present value if the net present value is positive you can go ahead with the project otherwise you have to reject the project okay okay let's look at this example okay before uh, discussing example please note this point that is risk adjusted discounting rate uh, that is radr requires the determination of risk free rate and risk premium rate okay so what is risk free rate it is the rate at which future cash inflows should be discounted if there is no risk if there is no risk so the, this is only an assumption in reality there is no risk free rate okay so what is risk premium rate it is the extra amount expected by the investor over the normal rate okay let's check this question partyplex limited is considering a new project that's a company name partyplex okay is considering a new project two alternative proposals are available that is x and y and each costing rupees 5 lakh cash inflows are expected to be as under year 1 2 3 4 years and project x cash inflows are first year 1 lakh 80 thousand second year 1 lakh 50 thousand then 1 lakh 20 thousand and 1 lakh and project y cash inflows are first year 2 lakh 50 thousand 1 lakh 80 thousand 1 lakh 50 thousand and 1 lakh 40 thousand the company has a target return on capital of 10 percent okay then risk premium rates are 2 percent and 8 percent respectively for project x and y state which project is better that's the question so here when we analyzing the question we understood that partyplex company limited that's the company has two projects that is x and y the, their initial investment or course that is rupees 5 lakh that's given in the question and expected return that is annual cash inflow that's all, also given in the question that's you go through it okay uh, company has target return of capital that is the additional information that is their expectation is 10 percentage okay then risk premium rate uh, given as 2 percentage for project x and uh, 8 percentage for project y okay then you have to recommend which project is better so let's see the solution that is we have to find out the npv of these two projects that is net present value of this project then we have you have to find out the radr so first of all we have to calculate radr that is for project x what is the normal rate of return that is 10 percentage that is the company has a target return of capital that is given in the question 10 percentage okay so for x i am calculating 10 plus additional what two percentage they are expecting that is risk risk premium rate is two percentage for x so 10 plus two percent that is 12 percent then for y that is eight percentage so 10 plus eight percent that is 18 percentage right then we will calculate the npv of project x first okay you have to draw four columns that is here cash inflows discount factor 12 percentage you have to calculate discount factor at 12 percentage okay then present value four columns then copy the information as given in the question that is here one two three four cash inflow same one lakh eighty thousand one lakh fifty thousand one lakh twenty thousand and one lakh then discount factor at 12 percentage you have to calculate that uh, value you can find out using table one um it's usually given in the question itself uh, otherwise you have to calculate by using the formula 1 divided by 1 plus r is to n okay uh, those things you already learned in the basic financial management right usually this uh, discount factor values given in the question so the values are 0 0.839 0 0.797 and for third year 0 0.712 and for fourth year 0 0.636 okay then you have to multiply the discount factor with cash inflows then you will get present value first year 1,60,740 second year when you multiply you will get 1,19,550 then 85,440 and uh, finally 63600 and totally when you add it up you will get uh, 4 lakh 29330 and from that amount you have to subtract its cost that is initial investment what is the initial investment for project x that's given in the question right that is 5 lakh 
okay so the npv when you subtract this 5 lakh from 4 lakh 29 330 you will get negative 70760 that's your npv right the same way you can do the npv for project y also cash inflows discount factor at 18 percentage you have to calculate then present value okay cash inflows you just copy the information from the questions first year 2 lakh 50 thousand then second year 1 lakh 80 thousand then 1 lakh 50 thousand and then 1 lakh 40 thousand then uh, discount factor at 18 percentage values are first year 0 0.847 0 0.718 third year 0 0.609 and, and fourth year uh, 0.516 and then for getting present value you have to multiply the cash inflows with this discount factor that's uh, in the first year you will get 2,11,750 and second year 1,29,240 and third year you will get 91,350 and fourth year 72,240 and when you add it up you will get a total of 5 lakh 4580 from that you have to subtract the initial investment what is the initial investment that is 5 lakh right and when you subtract you will get 4580 that's the npv of project y okay so what's the evaluation now so even at a higher discount rate that's project y yields a higher npv hence project y is better so that's all for today's video hope you understood this concept thank you for watching